we wanted to sit down with you guys and give you an update on what's going on in our lives. I know everybody has been impacted by this whole coronavirus and we are impacted as well. Um, and so we just wanted to have a little chat with you guys, tell you what we're, we've been doing, what we have planned, what has been impacted by coronavirus, and also um, how you can support um, even if cruising isn't going on right now. weeks we have been mostly staying at home. Um, I am a teacher so school is out now for the rest of the year and I have been working from home as a teacher which is extremely difficult to say the least. I switched jobs right before this whole coronavirus um, stuff came down. So I work for a county here in the state of Washington where we live and in their elections department. So I'm still working, but we still have been impacted by coronavirus. We have less staff in the office. We have staggered shifts. And so we aren't all in there. So, you know, I'm in there a couple of times per week. And But we do have active elections. Our department's still doing other things as our core essential functions. And so, therefore, I still have to go into work and, you know, we are unemployed, in which I know it affects some of you guys out there. Unfortunately. And our hearts go out to those of you that are in that situation. Now, our future travel plans were very much affected by this whole coronavirus. Greatly impacted. Uh, we had a June cruise um, booked on the Norwegian Jewel which even though Norwegian has a, officially canceled it, not officially, with Canada closing its border to cruise ships over 500 passengers until July. July 1st. And Seattle shutting down its port operations until the whole state of emergency goes away. There's really no chance of us taking that cruise. So we are going under the assumption that we have been canceled. It was going to be a fantastic trip. Our plan was to fly from Seattle. And, up, and we were going to be traveling with our friends, Trace, oh yeah, and, Trace Maria. and Maria. I was going to mention that. Yes. Sorry. We had a fantastic trip planned with Trace and Maria. We were going to fly from Seattle to Fairbanks, Alaska. There in Fairbanks, we were going to rent a car and take a sightseeing, self-sightseeing tour, I should say, down the, what do they call that? The well, we were going to Healy, Alaska. It's not too far away from Fairbanks. We were going to Healy, mm -hmm. and we had two nights booked there, and the middle day, we were doing Denali. Yes. And then, after we leave Denali, we're doing, we were going to do the long drive from Healy to Anchorage, sightseeing along the way. Once in Anchorage, we would uh, return the rental car and take the Alaska Railroad from Anchorage to Seward, where we would catch the cruise ship. In, in Seward, before we got on the boat, we were going to do a major marine um, trip. We were excited about that yes. because the last time we went... Um, up to Alaska. The and weather was terrible. When we got to Seward, it was terrible, blowing. My friend Jenny and I got really seasick, and it, our trip was actually cut short by a couple of hours because of the weather. But we did see some whales and, oh, yeah. and puffins and yes. stuff like that. But it wasn't 
the weather wasn't as nice as it could have. So we were hoping that we and were And the gonna, trip could have been a lot better. Yeah. Yes. We were hoping that we could recreate this and have a better experience. And do a redo. Yes. And then after Major Marine's tour, then we would um, get it uh, on the cruise ship in Seward and take it down through the um, Alaska ports, hitting up um, Hover Glacier on the way, uh, sick, uh, sorry, uh, not sick. Um, I see straight point. I see straight point, Skagway, Catch Can Juno, and eventually disembarking in Vancouver, BC, where we would then board Amtrak and take that to Seattle. But that's not going to happen. So, kind of what we have planned is really dependent on how this whole virus plays out. If we're able to, um, we have a conference that we're going to in July that's in Salt Lake City. And uh, Susan So Simsy, I'll put a link in the description below. Hashtag Simsy Live. <laughs> um, we were planning on going to Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Park along with Golden Spike National Historic Park <laughs> on our way to Salt Lake City um, and seeing some of the scenery that we hadn't seen there before. I've never been to Wyoming, so we were definitely gonna hit that on the way. And so we're kind of up in the air on whether that conference is yes. gonna happen, but we, we figure that if it doesn't, we're still gonna probably take the road trip, maybe go out and see Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. Should be awesome. Which is another state in South Dakota that I have not been to. Yes. Um, so that's kind of the plan that we have right now, but everything is up in the air. We don't know um, when we're going to be allowed to, you know, resume normal activity in our area. We are at a st in a stay-at-home order here in uh -oh. Washington State. As everybody else is, yes. But Theo likes it. He gets to spend plenty of time with us <laughs> while we're here at home. He gets yes. lots of naps on our lap. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, lots of attention. <laughs> um, but another thing we wanted to mention is a lot of the um, shops up in Alaska are being impacted by this cruise season being either cut short or not happening completely. We don't know at this point in time. Um, we know for sure that they aren't going to have passengers up there in the magnitude that they've had in the past until at least July. Cruising season usually typically begins right about this time of year, um, mid to late April, and goes until uh, end of September, early October. So not having cruise ships up there for all of May, all of June, maybe even part of July, no one knows but at least two full months is going to impact them like none other. So we wanted to um, essentially mention some names of companies and businesses that we have um, purchased from that we love to visit when we are at Alaskan ports. They are not sponsoring us by any means. We are not getting paid to mention their name. We just want to mention it out of the goodness of our hearts so that they can continue to do some sort of business. If anyone um, has been to Alaska, has known these shops, um, they are still doing business and you can still order from some of them online. So um, we recently, um, ordered from the Alaska Fudge Company. I'm actually holding Susan's box. Um, she got some... I got the dark chocolate cashew clusters and the peanut butter cups dark chocolate, both sugar-free, which I have to have and I absolutely love. And then I got some otter, um, some otter uh, chocolates and all that. Now they also have a lot of fudge, which we love the fudge, um, but we wanted to try something different. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Um, so to get the sugar-free assortment, we had to actually call them and they were happy to put it together for us. So it's not available on their website to directly order. Their fudges and some of their other candies and goods are. 
They are it's located very good. in Juneau, and they do have a website, alaskanfudge.com. And I'll put a link in the description below, so that way you can directly access their website. Another spot in Juneau that we have recently found and love is called Caribou Crossings. They um, have all sorts of unique arts and crafts that they sell in their shop that are made, uh, the arts and crafts are made by local artists in Alaska. And so this is a whale's tail glass ornament kind of decoration thing that we picked up a couple of years ago. We try to find unique things when we travel. Um, so they can go on our travel, travel wall along with our cruise ships that we've sailed and all that. And so this was a really beautiful one that we decided to pick up so it can sit on our shelf and remind us of the whales in Alaska. So they do have a website as well, cariboucrossings.com. And they're getting um, more product on their website as we speak. So try to visit their website as well. We know that you all have been in, impacted in one way or another. And some of you may have lost jobs. But if you're able to support these businesses that are being drastically impacted by this Alaska cruise season, please get on and please help them out. Order something, have it shipped. Um, I think Susan's grabbing another product that we um, order, we've gotten in Alaska, or I'm sorry, in the Yukon Territory rather. And, um, this is, uh, here she comes right now with it. Um, this is a whiskey barrel aged maple syrup that we get from a shop called the Maple Rush up in Carcross, Yukon Territories. Mm -hmm. You can order um, this from them. I will put a link in the down in the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, give them a call. They have order also it. a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to... Help these uh, locally owned companies up in Alaska and the Yukon survive this wave that they had no clue was coming and they have no control over. Mm -hmm. But we will give you updates on what we're going to be doing um, as they come about. If you've been following the channel, you will would have been noticing that I've been putting out my Alaska cruise vlogs from September of last year. That was the trip that I took by myself. I'm sorry, Susan, you had to be in school. Um, but please enjoy those. See where I went in Alaska. And um, I hope you enjoy them as much as I had making those videos for you guys. And in the meantime, feel free to surf the channel, uh, like the videos that you see, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. So we want to thank you for spending a little bit of time with us. And um, until our next trip, we'll see you then.